Good morning everyone and welcome to another day of Vlogmas, an intro number, I don't know. I can't commute, compute today. My speech is not here today. Uh, I have a migraine treatment in just a couple of days, so my words kind of jumble. Anyhow, this morning I am going to head out to Stockholm and kind of show you a little bit about the vintage decorations, pick up some gifts for a friend and pick up some stuff for our travels and I'm taking you with me. Yeah, good morning guys. I hope you have an awesome day. But before starting, I spent my morning here in the very, very lovely sofa, bed, bed sofa, day bed, I don't know, and stitching. I have been stitching for a couple of hours, probably around three hours. I went out of bed like 6.15, 6.20. Um, and uh, then I just started with my stitching and this is what I'm working on right now. Uh, as I said before, if you want to see like proper updates, there is a Flosstube channel in the description down below. Uh, but yeah, this is my travel project, but I started it before because it's also a comfy project. I don't have to take any decisions really when it comes to the stitching. And I've had one of those weeks uh, where just decisions isn't really computing in my head. I think it is that I'm getting more into a migraine and the migraine behaves a little bit differently this time around. But anyhow, this is what I'm doing and it's super fun. I'm stitching in hand, which I never did before and it's going so much faster. But that was my little stitch this morning. I am gonna head out. So, good morning guys. I hope you have an awesome day. I just saw this really, really cute blue tit. I wished I could capture it, but it was flowing so fast every time I, I like, oh, now I'm zooming in on it, and it just flew away. Really, really sad, but it was super cute. Like this big. I love birds.
thought I'd do a quick haul on everything I purchased. Uh, so first I picked up uh, some Christmas cards. This is eight in the package, but I think it's like two different designs. So you have these two, these two, and then these two uh, for Christmas cards. And then I have some stickers because I know that some of them will say like Merry Christmas uh, in Swedish. And I thought I would add Merry Christmas in English on the packages that that says Guyul, which is uh, the Swedish word. I, uh, those I picked up at Olien's and then I went to uh, Tiger, Tiger and I bought a few things. This is like a little felt ornament that you can sew. I thought it was super cute so I, I wanted to play. <laughs> so I got, got it. You get all of these things. Um, let's see if I can get it to focus. There we go. Uh, these are kind of the things you get in it and you can sew it together all by yourself. Uh, I got a couple of washi tape with like Santa's on because I think it's cute. Got a package of pincers and I know what I'm going to use at least two of them for. Um, this is all I want for Christmas is coffee. I love the cup so I decided that it would come home with me. All of this was like 12 bucks. It wasn't expensive at all. These were more expensive than these were. Just a note. Uh, then I went to Muji, and at Muji I picked up uh, two small and three medium of the packing uh, pouches for traveling. And finally I picked up two packages of these uh, earbuds with like the regular, uh, what's it called? <laughs> jack, that's the reg regular jack because we both like the form of these and we needed a pair to be able to like watch TV on, on, on the flight. So yeah, that was everything I purchased except for the gifts and those I won't show you. So my day completely changed in any kind of plans. My initial plans was to be out on town until like three o'clock or something. However, around 12, 12 I started having really bad back, back pains. So I just uh, went and got my necessities and go home and you already saw my little haul. And then I sat down and gamed because I was so tired. Um, I having a lot of issues speaking, so I think it's the migraine that is messing with me. And I just took a break. However, I also saw for like this, 20th time some uh, really cute like mini houses by stitching with the housewives and I'm like I want them stitched on one piece like a little length they do them separately and put them on a board uh, separately but I wanted them on one length so that is what I'm gonna do so while I was ca calculating that and I thought I would need to serge the fabric I didn't because I already had a piece big enough that was surged. And now I decided that, hey, I need two project bags now because I'm taking two projects with me. I usually only take one stitching project with me, but I really want to do those little houses. So I'm gonna take a second. I don't have any project bags for my cross stitching. So now I am deciding to do that instead. So today is going to be a little bit of sewing. Yeah, it's going to be super fun. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's a little bit chaotic in here. So bear with me. But I'm going to show you how my office looks right now. Because I am going to change it. If we start uh, by the door. Uh, this is where Christopher used to sit. This, the whole thing, is still his. So that is actually going to move into his office. Or maybe he's taking the big one and I'm taking that small one. We'll see. We'll see how that will work out. Right now, I'm mostly using that area to put my lights. It's a good area to put my lights. But I want to have a sewing table here, like a cutting table for my sewing. Because you're going to see my rickety rackety <laughs> uh, temporary solution. This is my desk. My desk is going to move from this wall to the opposite wall. Uh, 
but not before we leave so we're just gonna leave it like this uh, but yeah so this is the my work table I put away my work computer when I uh, close my day on Thursdays because otherwise I will keep on going in and working and I'm not supposed to do that and I put it into just into a drawer so this is my used to be my crafting table a lot of these things have actually been moved from one place just to see if they would fit together but uh, I put my Copics there because I don't use them at the moment um, and then I just have put all of my machinery just to see if I can fit them on this piece because we're gonna remove this piece and put my table here uh, all of these are going to be moved out here. This is not going to be a work-ish surface anymore. I'm not going to use this chair. Instead, I'm just going to uh, have my machines and let the machine go there um, and have a like a sit-down working surface just on my table. Uh, all of these are going to be moved away. And as a temporary solution, this bookshelf will be put up here, but I'm gonna get billies for that. But they're expensive and I have things to pay at the moment. But yeah, that is kind of the plan. But this is my temporary solution when I don't have a proper cutting table. This is my ironing board. I gonna go and get my iron. I'm gonna iron the fabric I'm gonna use. And then I have my cutting mat standing here that I pick out and I have my cutting uh, rulers and I also have my like my knife there so so this is the temporary cutting and ironing solution and then I have my sewing machine which I'm gonna put up in just a little bit but yes this is my office and because we have this door open during night time uh, we have put a curtain here however that curtain isn't really movable so we just leave it up which means this room is very dark same thing with this we can move it but we have a lot of stuff in this corner which is Christopher stuff so when he finally moves out this is going to be able to open I'm going to have some light in this room but yeah it is messy like I have two of this rogue school wagons and I don't think I'm going to use them uh, but it's going to be so good when we're done. Right now, I'm sorry you're seeing this mess. Step one uh, was to figure out the size of my pouches. Now I want to fit this in because this is my travel project and therefore uh, I need it to be 12 by 14 inches. These are 12 inch zippers and I have a bunch of them. These were the only neutral ones because I used them up. So this uh, is the start. Um, I'm gonna show you the fabrics. So the first fabric I'm gonna use is this kind of already stripey fabric. It's super simple. And uh, I actually recently discovered that this is um, Teresa Kugat. Kugot, uh, which is actually a pattern, crusted pattern designer that I follow. I have, haven't stitched anything of hers yet, but I was kind of, it was kind of fun to find that I had some of the fabrics that she, uh, she have designed. This is a fairly old one. I actually don't know when it's from. Maybe it has a date somewhere. It says copyright. Nah, it doesn't doesn't say when it was done but um this is my sister's fabric and i think uh she stopped collecting fabrics 10 years ago 15 years ago or something so it's definitely 15 to 20 years old but i kind of like it so this is going to be one of the bags i'm just going to figure out which stripes and so on so that is going to be the outside while the inside is going to be just this plain red fabric super simple then I'm gonna do my second one and that is gonna be my own travel fabric just because that would be so awesome sadly I have actually cut this fabric up into 
stri strips like this because the meaning was that I was going to sell these uh, lovely note, uh, note pouches. However, there's there's not a very high traction on my note <laughs> note pouches, so in, um, they're still in the store and everything. But uh, I am going to use this fabric, the the leftover fabrics for my pouches. So uh, what is going to happen is that I am going to make strips out of it, uh, like, and just put them together and um, have a little bit of this brown in between just to have like a delimiter and then I think if there's enough I'm gonna use this brown on the inside so yeah uh, now I'm gonna cut down all the fabrics uh, or iron it first and then cut down all the fabrics the first bag is done I will not be making a second bag today because that took three hours because everything went wrong but uh, let me show you my new bag here is my new bag. There is faults in it. I need to learn a lot about this. Uh, for example, I didn't line up these pieces. Um, I need to figure out how to do that better. So it's a little bit crooked there, but you can't see it from the front and or the back. Um, and then because I didn't have enough fabric, I needed to make a little line here those doesn't line up either but they, they they look fairly good um a big thing with this though is that my sewing machine really uh like the seams are not straight because the machine just won't like it moves uh the tooths in the the tooth that moves the fabric kind of moves back and forth to a certain degree so it's, it's broken i need need a new machine but i kind of like it and this is my own fabric so it's kind of cool that I have I, I get to make like a little project bag uh, my own fabric and then uh, I have I have the gray I use the gray the bluish gray kind of matches those little taggy things and such and then I just have a plain brown fabric on the inside so yeah I made a project bag for my travels Yay! so I finished off the evening actually starting a new project I wasn't supposed to but I found this uh, patterns on Instagram and I've been eyeing them for a while and I finally just couldn't stop myself so I picked them up and then after I picked them up I kitted it up and then I spent way too long straightening my threads yeah, um, I have discovered that my bobbinating, the, kin the little kinks that you get in the threads are very obvious. They are not obvious when you work on a something like a heaven and earth or, or something that has millimeter big stitches. You won't see it. It's not an issue. But I have been stitching for the past six months a lot of 16 count and it is so visible. So I used my straightener and I straightened every thread for this specific project. Yes, <laughs> insane. It wasn't that many threads, I think it was like 12, th 12 threads, 11 threads maybe colours, uh, but all of them except one was was or bobbinated i have gone over to floss drops which i make myself which i also made today so i've been productive but maybe not on the things i should have been productive on but now i have projects for um for the rest of, of the year i think uh but also we have carried down everything that has to do with the kitties into the car because tomorrow morning really really early tomorrow morning we are heading out to um take the kitties to their kitty sitter so yeah that is why i'm going to head to bed and why the lighting is very very strange i know i know it's it's it's, it's how it is uh but yeah we're gonna head to bed and um i just want to say good night sleep tight don't let the bed bugs bite and i'll see you tomorrow bye